Hi, Frank. Can you hear me okay? Hi, Peter. I can hear you. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. <laughs> um, I've, uh, I've seen thousands of Evertonians tonight smiling and fist pumping and singing Super Frank Lampard. Can you, can you ever imagine a, a debut match like that? No, no. I, I can only thank the fans for their, I mean, their support of me from, from the moment I walked out through the match and, of course, at the end when they see their team perform the way they did. Um, but on a personal level, I have huge thanks. From the minute you know I've, I've signed for this club and I'm, I'm representing the club, um, it's been brilliant all week. And to see that today was something very special. It's a day that we'll, I will never forget. It's obviously only the start in terms of my time here, but I can't help but get but get you know caught up in the emotion of that for a moment. But what they did do then was support the, the team. I, we, we all hear about the goodness and effect. I've, I've felt it on the other side. Um, and we wanted to produce that today. The players did. And the way the players played and approached the game meant that the fans bought into it straight away. And it was, a, it was a very special day for me. You looked like you enjoyed your time on the pitch because you were there doing the warm-ups before the game. You, 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 you applauded endlessly at the end of the game. I mean, ju just, just great scenes. Yeah, and, and that, that's just how I work. And, you know, I, I, um, I do that every day. I, I don't think I want to... There's nothing I do as a player. I did it and I'm very consumed with it. I want to be the best I can be. And if the fans can see that, then all well and good because I think they, they want to see their manager giving everything at every moment. And it's just how I work. So, yeah, I want to be there to support the players. When they make passes or play through lines, when they make tackles, when they're aggressive and covering distance, when Anthony Golden makes a tackle in the, in the corner over that leads to the corner that leads to our, second, our third goal. Those things are special and that's what we work towards. So, yeah, as a, as a, as a manager today, I was proud of the performance and it, and it did get me excited. And, of course, now I need to calm down and work towards the, the league games that are ahead of us. But we, we, you know, we saw, hopefully, some real nice signs today of what we can take forward. You've only had a few days with the players. What's the overriding message been that you've got across to them? Well, I'd like to think that it was visible from the outside because, you know, we wanted to, we want to play. We want to make more passes. We need to support each other better in, in, in possession. And that's what we worked on a lot in the week. That's how I want to coach my team. And I've got great staff with me and we work together on that. Um, and then, first and foremost, we, we're an Everton team. We must be aggressive. We must sprint. We must tackle when the ball's there to be won. Um, and those basics must, must always have to be there. And, and that it was there in abundance today. And that, that's probably the, the real base. And it, it, that made me very happy to see that. And work now getting ready, no, no let up, obviously. Newcastle away next. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, we're straight into a tough run of league games. They're all tough. And we know the position we're in, we want to move up the table. But it's definitely also my job to put some perspective and some calm on today. It was a good performance and we're through to the next round of the FA Cup, but we've got a lot of work to do. We've had one week to work. To get to where we want to be, we need more time to work. We need to try and get those results within that process because we know that's so important in our league position. So in that, in that point, the time we wake up tomorrow and go into training, it'll be my job to go, OK, lads, great, well done. Here are the, here are the huge positives from yesterday, but we need to get better and hopefully we will do. And last one for me, please. Uh, how's Ben Godfrey? Um, it's a hamstring injury, which is um, to be assessed. Probably had to let it settle for two days and scan it. So not not good. You know, he'll he'll be missing for a period of time, depending on the severity of the injury. But it's a hamstring. Thanks, Pete. Uh, Phil Kirkbride with Phil Echo, please. Um, you mentioned Anthony there. I mean, how excited are you to have inherited a player of his potential? I'm really excited. I, I, I've been watching Anthony this season just as a, an outsider, as a neutral or such, and love things about his game. And then when you come to see someone, you know, you, you don't try and make too many judgments before, but you work with them and seen him close hand all week. Got great quality, loves this club, that oozes out of him. And the fans, obviously, as we saw, love that. Um, but he's also got a great attitude. He's got all the attributes to, to do what he wants in the game. And I, I, won't, I won't jump on him too much because I don't want to, after one game, Give him, give him an issue and something he has to live up to. But I can see in him that he's got, he's got what it takes. And we saw loads of glimpses of that today. The tackle before the third goal was amazing. You know, he's a, he's a talented boy, but the attitude he shows and, and love for this club is something for me to work on and harness and, um, and, uh, and help him, you know, be a service to him. He's a young player and he can go a long way. And just, uh, you, you mentioned the Newcastle game on Tuesday, Frank. Are you still confident and hopeful that you'll have Dominic available? Um, I'm hopeful. Um, 
I actually had my eye off the ball on that one today with the game, but he was training outside yesterday on his own. Um, so he hopefully will be with the team tomorrow. Whether he's ready for in three days' time is one of those that we'll have to see where he's at um, in terms of match game ready. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll know more about that probably in the build-up to the game over the next couple of days. Great. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Done? Thank you. Yeah.